We're in my new school in New York City, in the 36th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. You know, New York City is definitely like my favorite place in the world, and that's one of those places where I realize I can, I can reach most of the people to, who want to train Jiu Jitsu that I already have experienced here before. And it was always the kind of place where people always come to train with me, always people come to New York City for vacation, always people come to New York City to work. And you can, if you can combine this, just just a great, you know. You know, we have like a class like the whole day. We have morning, the afternoon, the evening, and we. I'm glad we already have like a pretty good number of people because I don't go out to train. You know, I make my train on my school, so people is able to train with me every day. And I'm glad I already have that group. You know, to to also make my train. Right. You know, I try to find the most efficient way to do jiu jitsu. We know how many variations we have in Jiu-Jitsu, how many techniques we have in Jiu-Jitsu. So I try to use my students not the moves who are going to work only from me or not the moves who's going to work just to the tall guy or to the small guy or to the bigger guy. I try to find, in the selection of that many techniques, I try to find the techniques who are going to work with most of the people. And that's what I try to do in my school and I'm glad I'm, today I'm the only instructor over here. Of course, it's pretty hard, you know. Uh, I'm not able to make that many number of class what I wish I could do, you know. But at least I have the students doing the stuff what I believe, you know. And I hope soon I can have like an instructor to help me with, with that, you know, an instructor who knows what I want to teach my students, just to, to be able to have more class, you know, just to be able to offer like a more class to to, to students who are maybe not able to come to the class we have right now. You know, that's my own place, so you know, if I don't teach you, you know, nobody's gonna teach for me, you know. So I teach every class, I'm training most of the class. If I'm not training, it's because something wrong, you know. Every time you train hard, sometimes you get a little hurt, but I'm here most of the time, you know, teach and train. I'm glad, you know, I, I have my friend and partner, Josh uh, Weitzman. You know, we, we know each other for so long, and he has the idea to start to uh, just film all my class, that's one thing I already do every day, train and teach my class. So now we, we film and we able to like to show this online to people. People is able to see all my training and the technique I teach in my training. Now does that worry you though that you're that you're still competing, correct? Does it worry you to put so many techniques out there that your competitors can study of how you're doing what you do? You know I pretty like uh, confident and I'm hundred percent I'm sure everything I'm trained, everything I'm, I'm teaching, but I've been doing this since I was Blue Belt. I've been doing this to my training partner since I'm Blue Belt, and I never have a problem with that, so it, this thing has been working for a long time, so that's why today, after, after almost eight years of Black Belt, so I'm pretty confident to show this to the world, you know. I, I, don't, I feel every time like I, I, I show my techniques, people are able to, like, uh, to study, and people sometimes discuss that with me, so I find a way to learn more, you know. That's a way to like to growing up more, not only the Jiu Jitsu, but my Jiu Jitsu too. You know, MMA today is such a, like a big sport. That's one thing what makes you go to the MMA. But I used to have so much fun in Jiu Jitsu. You know, Jiu Jitsu for me was, is, is always been my life. And in MMA, I always stopped, I, I was trained so hard and, and pushed myself so much. And I'm not such a have fun anymore because and uh, the best thing after you push so hard is, is just go and fight and show, you know, everything you did, you know, to be right. there. And the MMA is not that easy. When you have that much money behind, people is just like, uh, you know, to grease people like, uh, start to deal with you different, you know. People try like a uh, mess with your life, you know, when, when they put money in between that, you know. And it's just not like Jiu Jitsu, you just put your name in the bracket and you go and compete, you know. It's, it's, it's not, it's not what it looks like, you know. but, I'm, but I'm really happy today to just be doing Jiu Jitsu again. I, I, I passed the guard and I got my knee on his belly, but then he's not bothering with, like, uh, with my knee. He's kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to put my hand on your knee, I'm not going to open my elbow. He's going to stay like, uh, his elbows protect, you know. So if I see this, I'm going to feel like, alright, i got to look for something else. So instead of lying him flat like that, with my knee on his belly, I'm going to start to move his side, sideways. And I have my knee on his belly. You know, I'm walking this, you know, I, he's sideways. I still have my knee on top. This gives like a, a good way to see what he's doing, to see if he have any gap, you know. 
and I'm gonna try go like the most I can on his back, like behind him. You know? And from this position, I'm gonna see if his chin is open. If I see a little bit of his chin open, that's what I want. So the hand was close to his head, just go around like that. You guys gotta try reach under his chin. If he's on his side, it's not great, you know what I mean? So you gotta try get under his chin. Can you move a little bit like this, guys? You see already my hands over there? So now, from my knee on the belly, I'm gonna try to reach my other hand. Move, move, feel. I'm gonna try to reach my other hand, like this. And then, from the knee on belly, I'm going straight to the mouth. Look, I have no hand, so I gotta post my hand on the mat. Straight to the mouth. And look what I did more. My second hand, I use my elbow, my forearm on top of the shoulder. So now I can just like flatten my weight on top of him, make him tap. 